morning and welcome. Today is first day of the second week of Easter. All masses for Warsaw, Marie Snado, and all for you this week is cooperation. Cooperation is working together and sharing the Lord. When we cooperate, we join with others to do things that cannot be done alone. We are willing to follow the rules which keep everyone safe and happy. Together we can accomplish great things. We shall form daily that we can, that we will cooperate, respect the rules, work in your plan well with others, and keep yourself and others safe. Please join us in our entrance hymn, number 183, Jesus Christ is Risen Today, number 183. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, boys and girls, it's so good to be together today on this Easter day of the Easter season. And as we enter into these sacred mysteries together, let's call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for peace. Lord Jesus, you are the way and the truth and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess an unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. from the Acts of the Apostle. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostle and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angels of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out and said, go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin and full senate of the children of Israel and sent to the, the jail 
to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported. We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them. As to what this would come to, then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm is, The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together exalt his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look at him that you may be radiant with joy, and your fa faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all distress he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them, taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Good morning. Second graders, will you stand up for me? 
So how about the second grade got their first communion on Saturday? They did a super duper job. Very proud of you guys. So congratulations. <laughs> so was it, was it great? Did you love it? Okay, good, good. All right, well, you guys can sit down. You did a super job. I was very proud of you. You looked so nice, so handsome, so pretty. Um, good. So today in the first reading, it's from the Acts of the Apostles, uh, there's a jailbreak. Did you get that? Right? The guys are in jail. Right? The apostles are in jail. And then the angel comes to them. The angel of the Lord comes to them and sets them free. But he doesn't just set them free and say, go do whatever you want. He sets them free and sends them on a mission. The angel says, go take your place in the temple and tell everyone everything about this life. So what does he mean by that? Everything about this life. Jesus, uh, at a different point in the gospel, in John's gospel, he says that he is, you know, when, when uh, Thomas has asked him, you know, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And Jesus says to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. So Jesus is saying, I'm the life. So what do you think it means? What do you think those guys, those apostles did when, when they went into the temple area and told people about this life? What do you think that sounded like? What do you think they talked about? Anybody? Branley? Jesus is teaching. What's Jesus teaching about? What does he say? It's a big question, right? You know what? Can you come up with one thing, Brantley, that Jesus said? <laughs> How about Jesus said to love each other? How about that? Right? That's one thing. What else, did, what else is a, something about the life that you think they said? Well, let me give you a hint. In the opening prayer today, there were a bunch of different words. Let me read them to you. And these words are all about the life. The opening prayer, we said, um, dignity, hope, mercy, faith, love. So let's talk about each of those words. So if we're going to live a life or show people dignity, what does that mean? What does it mean to show people dignity? What, 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 what grade, what do we got? Middle schoolers. Dignity. Well, let me ask you this. Where does a person's dignity come from? Do I have dignity because I'm a rich man and I have a nice car and I have beautiful hair? Is that why I have dignity? No. Where does dignity come from? Does it come from something I've done? Is anyone awake? Does it come from something I wear, something I spray on? Where does dignity come from? Uh, 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 you, uh, Lydia. <laughs> okay, respect, good. So we're worthy of respect. Why are we worthy of respect? What is it about us? Are we worthy of respect because of something we've done? Well, certainly there are actions that are worthy of respect, sure. But the person, each person is, has dignity. Where does that come from? There's another hint that the word in front of it was said original dignity. Mr. Teich. From your heart. Okay. And who put it in your heart? Bald off. Who? God. That's right. That each and every person has dignity that was given them from God. And so you don't just show respect to someone because they're cool or because they do something nice for you or because um, they have nice clothes, or because they've accomplished something. You sh show respect for someone. Someone has dignity because God gave them dignity. So showing the life is saying, every person I meet has dignity. Every person I meet is worthy of my respect. Tell them about this life. Dignity. Okay. Hope. What is hope about? Does anyone know what hope is? Go ahead. Believing what? Believing you can do it. Okay. Why? Believing you can do it. Why? 
Because you're pretty cool? Because you're awesome? Because you're strong enough and tough enough? Yeah, okay. In some ways, yeah. In some ways, I would call that optimism, though. And there's a little difference between optimism and hope. Because optimism says, I can do it. Hope says, we can do it. Me and who? Who's going to be with me in everything that I do? Jesus. That's right. Hope is about putting it all, putting it on Jesus. Jesus is with me, so I believe I'm going to be okay. Okay? That's pretty awesome. What was another word that I said from that opening prayer? Uh, case. What? Faith. faith. Okay. What's faith about? Um, trusting, God. trusting in God. Believe in what he says. Believe in that he keeps his promises. Right? Okay. Awesome. Good. There was another one in there. What was another one? Christopher? Love. love. What's love all about? Yeah, right? So you give what God gave, gives to you. You try and, and love everyone. But love isn't about like fireworks in your heart. And, oh, she's so pretty. Well, that's nice. But th is that love? I mean, love, love means this. That's love. Right? And that's what it comes down to. Giving what God gave you, and that's what God gave you. He died for you. So that's an important thing, right? When you're thinking about someone and you think, I'm in love, think of the cross. And say, would you do that for them? If you would, you're in love. All right? So love. So that's, that's the way. That's the life. That's the, the life that we're talking about. There was one other word. Anyone remember one other word I brought up? It begins with M and ends with Ursi. What, what was it? Go ahead, somebody. Go ahead. Uh, mercy. What does mercy mean? Anybody know? What's that? Okay. That's part of it, isn't it? Forgiving people. Okay, what else? What else do you think mercy's about? Case. Okay. Spare. So do you guys ever play the mercy game with your brothers or sisters? Did you ever play that? Where you, one, this is my hand, this is my sister's hand, and, we, and then you can try and get them to say mercy. Right? Which means I give up. Okay, so that's part of it. To spare someone. To, but mercy, what mercy really um, is, is about being humble. Mercy is about saying, hey, what you are worried about is important to me. And I am going to do, I'm going to give you, try and give you what I can to fulfill what you need. So God is rich in mercy. God shows us mercy all the time. And what that means is that God looks at us and doesn't say, I am God, fear me. But looks at us and says, you're a Reagan. I want to know you. I want to know what's going on in your life. I want to see what you need, and I'm going to give you what you need. Is there a difference between getting what you need and getting what you want? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, there is. Sometimes we want things, and we turn to God, and we say, God, give me this. This is what I want. And then God says, mm -mm, that's not what you need. And we say, God didn't hear my prayers. Yes, he did. He hears your prayers, but God always gives you what you need. That takes humility on his part. Because he, has to, he, wants, he needs to know you. He needs to say, you are important. And I'm going to look deep into you. That's part of this life. To be humble towards each other. And to try and serve and help each other. So that's probably, brothers and sisters, boys and girls, what these guys talked about when they got up. They talked about God's love. They talked about uh, f having faith in God. They talked about um, uh, the dignity of each person. They talked about, about uh, uh, mercy. That must have been a pretty good talk, don't you think? Yeah, I think it probably was. That's pretty cool. And that, you guys, is the mission that you get every time you walk out of church. That you are called to show people about, and tell people about this life. More importantly, show people about this life. About the life that is Jesus. A life that is respectful of, of the other person. A life that is full of love and compassion and forgiveness and mercy and hope. So, how do you think you're doing on your mission? When you, when you leave here today, remember, that same mission the apostles got, you guys have too. So do I. So let's live up to it. Okay? All right. Let's stand up together, and we'll offer up some prayers.
Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, Bishop Zubik, Father Matt, Father Lou, Father Ward, and Father Jim, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That for those in authority, that they would govern wisely and fairly, we pray to the Lord. For our Easter celebration, that we would share the joy of Christ's resurrection with everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who are sick, suffering, homeless, or struggling with any hardships, that they would be, find healing and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our community, that we proclaim the love of Christ in word and deed. We pray to the Lord. For Rosemary Snyder, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all the prayers and intercessions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we ask you here to answer these prayers. Help us to uh, be people of hope, of faith, of love, people of mercy like you are. We know that you live and reign. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, loving the world forever and ever. Amen. Please join us in our offertory hymn, number 182, Jesus is Risen, number 182. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all of us in the church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we read this prayer and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep, and hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with all of the blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, St. Wendelin, St. Clair, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Number 327, I'm the bread of life. Number 327. Let's see. 
Let's pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you've imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, thanks to Mrs. Allen's class, I think, you did the readings today. You did a very good job. Very proud of you. And thanks, everyone, for participating so well. And I hope you have a really good day and you show each other the life, right? Show each other the life like the angel told the apostles. All right, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join us in our closing hymn, number 188, The Day of Resurrection, number 188.